Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And sorry for the late time getting on here with you guys tonight. I've been running some issues there. I uh, did about, oh gosh, close to a half hour long video there for Patreon tonight. That's actually processing right now. Some very interesting information, even about this, a uh, little bit of what I talked to was with Stephen Jackson on the object circling the sun. Got into multiple issues, Israel's cooperation uh, with Russia on advanced technology and those little DBs that there could be a threat still yet for New York. Uh, so I shared a lot of that information tonight over there on Patreon. So if you want, take go there, subscribe. It's only a dollar a month to begin with. So uh, definitely join in with us there. Um, I, I always try to load some good information there. And we're trying to get better and better about that and, and more frequent with some of the intel that I'm able to pick up on. And just some really just some good, interesting things there. Uh, all right, let's get right into the things that are going on there. And I, I want to thank... Uh, uh, Sister Rosa, she's uh, sent a lot of this information to me. I'm going to share with you tonight on the news there. This was one that really kind of got my attention on Bitcoin.com, where Robert Kioski says the U.S. dollar is toast, citing Saudi Arabia's request to join BRICS. Uh, now, with that being stated, that just shows that new world order is taking shape slowly but surely. And, um, and, and, and I have to tell you that... People don't realize, I really believe that this BRICS agreement is what is going to bring together a new world order. Uh, and uh, not only that, but this whole idea, though, that the U.S. dollar is toast, well, it definitely is. And I've often been told that the one thing that's preventing the new world order from really fully going into full swing is the United States. And they've got to bring the U.S. down in order to make sure the New World Order plan can go. Europe, they said, is already collapsing, will easily fall in line with the New World Order. You can see those nations that are going to be running that New World Order system. Of course, Israel is going to be at the top of the food chain. Don't kid yourself for a moment. But one bit of good news, uh, and this is just a, an observation from somebody I know in Washington, is that uh, President Biden has said internally he's going to run again for president. And they claim that he's not going to let anything happen to the U.S. dollar while he is trying to make that bid for the White House again. He'll pretty much do everything it takes to keep the economy afloat to make himself look good. Of course, everybody is laughing internally because of his dementia problems. So whether or not he survives long enough to run again, who knows? Only time will tell. Um, Anyway, there's there's a lot of issues though that are that are going on that we got to really start focusing on because um, oh gosh, and I went blank on one of those ideas that I wanted to share with you here, but maybe it'll come back to me in a little, little bit here. Moving on over as well though, uh, the a TV claim out of Russia says that and this is how Turner nuclear bomb set off in. Uh, my clave will be detonated by the Ukraine to blame Russia. Of course, now Hal Turner gives you a, a little place there to where you can see it. it's close to Kyrgyzstan right there. And if you remember, there was allegedly uh, some Russian nukes moved there uh, from Russia into that area. And I did check to see if that was true. And of course, people in, in Washington were aware of the video that surfaced. But no one had been able to confirm whether or not Russia really did do that or not. So, could there be a false flag event trying to drag uh, the NATO into this? No doubt about it. Uh, but also keep in mind, too, remember that NATO is planning on hitting Belarus in the not-so-distant future. So that's a really big issue going on as well. As well, I don't know, Somebody sent me that link there. That's not really applying here. Um, and this this was something I thought interesting as well from uh, Sister Rosa. She had sent this to me here, giving, uh, and it's not really uh, dealing with the news tonight. In fact, before I, before I jump into that, let me just run over here real quick, then we'll come back to that in just a minute. Explosion at the Russian factory that makes warhead uh, charges for missiles. Again, another, another very good uh, news clip there on how Turner's site there. There's been a large explosion at the Russian factory, which makes uh, charges for missile systems and for rocket engines in the city of Pern, Russia. And that's about 1,500 kilometers northeast of the Ukraine border. 
So that makes you wonder who is behind that particular attack there too there. Uh, now going back into this, this is kind of just kind of like closing, closing out for today. But uh, I had mentioned in a broadcast that there were seven more advanced civilizations on this planet over the last so many thousands of years there than that what we have today. Well, Sister Rosa took time, found this particular article, which I thought was very interesting. Uh, it's called the Epic Times is where it's at. 17 out of place artifacts that suggest high tech civilizations existed thousands or as they put it, millions of years ago. And of course you have that light bulb looking thing there uh, in Egypt. We Many people are aware of that there. Uh, 2,000 year old uh, batteries, clay jars with asphalt stoppers and iron rods made some 2,000 years ago, been proven capable of generating more than a volt of electricity. We have that right there. We have, um, they claim this to be 1.8 billion year old nuclear reactor. I think that's a little bit exaggerated. But anyway, 1972, a French factory imported uranium ore from Oklo in Africa's uh, Gabon Republic. Uranium had already been extracted. They found the site of the origin to have apparently functioned as a large-scale nuclear reactor that came into being 1.8 billion years ago and was operating for some 500,000 years. That's pretty wild, right? Oh, my gosh. Seafaring map makers before Antarctica was covered in ice. Wow, that's an interesting thought as well, right? Uh, also, a 2,000-year-old earthquake detector, 150,000-year-old pipes. Uh, I wonder how they figure out the years for the pipes, right? Uh, uh, and I can't even say it. Mechanism, a mechanism uh, often referred to as an ancient computer, which was built by the Greeks around 150 BC, was, capable, was able to calculate astronomical changes with great precision. Another fascinating thing, right? A drill bit and coal. John Buchan Esquire presented a mysterious object to a meeting of the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland on December 13, 1852. A drill bit had been found encapsulated in coal about 22 inches thick, buried in a bed of clay mixed with uh, boulders about 7 feet thick. Uh, the earth's coal is said to have formed hundreds of millions of years ago. The Society decided that the instrument was a modern level of advancement but it concluded that the iron instrument might have been part of a bore broken during some former search for coal. And I mean, this, this is just like crazy, right? Iron pillar of Delhi. Uh, you know, uh, all this kind of stuff. Viking sword. Oh, let's see. When archaeologists found a Viking sword, Uferet, dating from 800 to 1000 AD, they were stunned. They couldn't see how the technology to make such a sword would have been available until the Industrial Revolution of 800 years later. Uh, and it goes on and on and on and on. Prehistoric work site. Uh, you know, uh, listen, technology was insane back then, that's all I can tell you. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys subscribe to us over there on Patreon. Like I said, uh, very interesting information we're sharing on our latest video there. Uh, we thank you for being a part of our YouTube channel here. Also, iConnectFX.com, Israeli News Live. We loaded up the interview with Stephen Jackson over there. It's in seven different languages, so definitely check that out. And by the way, too, if you're on YouTube right now, can I ask you to check and see if you are subscribed? If you've not, please subscribe. We are finding more and more and more that YouTube is knocking out those people that subscribe to us. We've been stuck at 395,000 subscribers now for several months, not moved an inch. Uh, so that's a little bit suspicious because normally we can grow fairly rapidly and the next thing you know, we're knocked all down. Uh, so 37,000 views there with Stephen Jackson. I really appreciate Stephen coming on. Appreciate so many nice comments there. Uh, and uh, so that was, that was very kind for you guys to be a part of that. Like I said, if you check us out over on iConnectFX.com, Israeli News Live, let me just pull this up for you, and I'll put a link here in the description for you as well. Uh, and, and, and probably, Steve, it's probably one of the most trending videos on there. We'll see here. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's just see if, it's on, if we're under trending right now. But, uh, but like I said, it was translated in multiple languages. Yeah, red alert. Events happening now. 1,300 views, and that's just artificial there on iConnectFX.com. Good evening, friends. Stephen Benet. 
And here you go there. All right. Now let's let's just let's show uh I want to show this uh, nice young man here himself. Let's see. French, Hebrew, Dutch, Russian, Spanish. Let's do him in German here for a moment. Das ist also nicht etwas, worüber ich nur reden kann. Das ist etwas, was ich so lebe. Und There you go, Stephen. You heard in German now. How about Russian? There you go, my brother. See, you can even speak Spanish. Just click on the language. That's all you got to do. Listen, subscribe to us over there. Join that program. Amazing platform. La cosa es el tiempo. Ya no tenemos patrones climáticos normales. Y si ha estado observando el tiempo. Ah, it's amazing. Anyway, thank you for listening. Stephen Bernoulli with Israeli News Live. God bless you. And thank you for your support of our ministry here. IsraeliNewsLive.org is our, uh, our YouTube channel there. And... Uh, Uh, please, uh, if God lays upon your heart, support the work we do here. Stephen Benoon, uh, P.O. Box 156, Sunbright, Tennessee, 37872, as well as you can just click online and donate online. Thank you, and God bless you, and have a great evening.